the movie theaters are finally back open, many Oklahomans are headed to watch new must-sees on the big screen. But behind the scenes, Hollywood is right here in the Sooner State. It's really exciting to be in the industry now. Hollywood has come to the prairie with films like critically acclaimed Minari, which was shot in Tulsa, and Stillwater, starring Matt Damon and partially filmed at his namesake town, and of course, Killers of the Flower Moon, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro, directed by Martin Scorsese, currently filming in Osage County. But stardom is new to the Sooner State. 17 years ago, it was a completely different landscape in Oklahoma. I mean, we would work on maybe one movie a year, maybe. Chris Fryhofer's casting agency, Fryhofer Casting, places actors in hundreds of Oklahoma projects. The agency has grown from working one movie a year to 13 films in 2020, despite the pandemic. And now there are actors in Oklahoma that are making their living in front of the camera. Six years ago, the state averaged six movies per year, bringing in an $8 million direct fiscal impact. This current fiscal year, there are 34 productions in the works. Now it has come back just boom. You know, it's booming big time right now. A $161 million boom. That's direct fiscal impact. The economic effect increases even more when you consider all the local businesses affected. That's, you know, conservatively close to a $400 million economic impact um, with all the ancillary spending and um, just money in, in Oklahomans' pockets as well as Oklahoma businesses. Just ask Overlees Woods in Bartlesville. The lumberyard provides supplies for the set of Killers of the Flower Moon. The movie generated 40% of its business during the first half of the year. They've helped us tremendously and are going to probably cry when they leave. <laughs> It's just a really exciting time for, for Oklahoma to be on the map and, and not just, oh, that filmed in Oklahoma, but no, we are a destination for filming. Pretty cool stuff here in our state, but don't expect the industry to slow down anytime soon. Governor Stitt recently signed the Filmed in Oklahoma Act of 2021, which increases the state's film and TV incentives. Very cool.